Today I'm going to walk you through the installation of the Smart Control Resource Manager. The first thing we'll need to do is go to our website, CenturionTech.com, to download it. Once we're here, we can click this download link at the very top of the page. You'll want to scroll down and put in your username and password. If you do not have your username and password, you can use this forgot username and password link here or you can contact technical support in order to get that information retrieved. Once we're here, you want to download the appropriate version for your operating system. The smart control is compatible with Windows XP Service Pack 2 and higher, including Windows Vista, Windows 7, Server 2003, and Server 2008, all 32 and 64-bit editions. Today I'm going to be installing on a Server 2003 R2 machine. I already have the installer downloaded to my desktop here. I'm going to double-click on it to run it. It will open up the Installerware wizard and start to unpackage the contents here. Once that's done, we're, we're now here at this screen where it's welcoming us to the installer. We'll hit Next to continue on. We'll want to check this box here to accept our end user license agreement. Hit Next again. We'll here want to put in our user registration information, your name, your company, Centering Technologies, your license key, which you can actually copy and paste in in one block. So we'll go ahead and paste that in here. We recommend leaving the service port default to 5553. And then you'll want to put in your password for the smart control. This is a password you will use to access some network settings and remote management settings. You'll want to make sure to remember this password and keep it in a safe place. We'll go ahead and hit next here. The next screen here asks us the install directory. We recommend leaving it at the default program files. But if you do need to choose an alternate directory, this is where you can do so. We'll hit next again. Ask you where we want to, want to put the program shortcuts, whether for all users or current users only. We'll go ahead and hit next here on all users. It says now we're ready to install. Hit next to install. Go ahead and press next here and it will run through and do some various installation things. It's creating our services and whatnot. This next screen here is uh, w the installation is done. All we do is check the reboot computer now. Hit finished and you have installed the smart control.